Essentially, what um, Dr. Papa Indum has done is he's given 80,000 Ghana cities to the first eight students, the first batch of eight students at the Indus School of Business and Technology. Now, let me just take your mind a little back, a little, um, let me just cast your mind a little far back. When we were opening the university, Dr. Indum made a statement. He said, the Indus School of Business and Technology is going to redefine the educational system in Ghana and anybody who comes there is going to have a competitive edge over all the other peers. So that's exactly what he's done. He's given the 80,000 Ghana cities to these eight students at Seed Capital. <clears throat> now Seed Capital means they're supposed to form a company with it and probably before they even finish the university that money will even go up because it could even be he's going to turn that money around for them. So He's going to actually be part of the board. He's, uh, he's actually going to chair the board. He's going to have group Indum top management level. That we, we call them national coordinators for all our sectors. Of the, we have over 64 group Indum companies. So we have coordinators for each unit. So the coordinators are going to serve as board members. And DOXA is actually going to groom the students. Because if you give 80,000 galaxies to young people like that, and if you don't take it and train them, they're going to actually not make good use of the money. So we're not just giving them the 80,000, <clears throat> actually giving it to them. We're going to groom them. There will be a board in place that Dr. will chair and then actually grow the money for them. So what will happen is by the time they even leave the university, they would have even had more than the 80 Ghana cities, 80,000 Ghana cities. Now, another thing that Dr. and Mrs. Indom is they're doing at the Indus School of Business and Technology is that aside the 80,000 Ghana cities that he's given, any student, including those who are already there, who comes to the Indus School of Business and Technology, is going to enjoy attachment opportunities. Unlike the other universities that you get up, you take letters, roam around, I'm looking for job, I'm looking for attachments. We do the School of Business and Technology, that wahala or that sweat is over. If you're a parent out there, you just need to bring your kids over to the place and you're sorted out. We're also going to have vacation job opportunities. That system is not really well in place here in Ghana where people are on vacation and you have employment opportunities waiting for them. They know, okay, I'm on vacation. I can go to this company work and get some money to either fend for myself, to buy some clothes. And they always keep on stressing their parents. What we are telling them is, when you come to this school business and technology, you have vacation jobs assured. We have over 64 group in companies scattered across all the country. So you can have attachment opportunities either in Ghana, in Liberia, in the United States, in the U.S., so <clears throat> scattered across the country. Now for those doing banking and finance, we are also going to have a GM bank branch right on campus. So you have hands-on practical experience. When you go to the classroom and they mention some of the banking stuff for you, you don't just imagine. We take you there and show you, well, this is what we are talking about. This is how it works. If you're doing accounting, we have accounting software. They'll let you see it and how it works. So it's the whole practical experience that we are bringing. Our facilities are world-class standard, world-class, um, state-of-the-art. We have hostels of love to house anybody, whether you're from the northern region, eastern region, upper east, upper west, southern region, greater Accra. I mean, the current students, they, they are from all over the country. Even if you are outside, you want to, you're an international student, you still want to come and enjoy these opportunities. We are ready, you, we will welcome you and we will feel free to welcome you at Indian School of Business and Technology.